And a Call 6 investigation into your child's safety in the classroom is prompting reaction tonight from the State House. The Call 6 investigates Kara Kenny found that Indiana has no requirements in place to have tornado shelters in schools. But one state lawmaker is already looking at changing that. Kara joins us right now with the very latest as to, as to what she found out and some traction that this story is getting, Kara. That's right, Raphael and Amanda. We sent our investigation into school tornado safety to state lawmakers, and we're already hearing back from some who want change. The Indiana Department of Homeland Security says Indiana is at high risk for tornadoes, meaning our schools have been hit and more will be damaged by tornadoes. Despite these risks, Indiana has no laws or building codes in place requiring schools to have tornado shelters. We found a bunch of other states with rules requiring shelters in newly constructed schools, including our neighbors in Illinois, Ohio, and Michigan. Adding a tornado shelter to a new building adds about 5% to the cost of the school. It also offers a lot more protection for students than just hunkering down in a hallway. Representative Randy Fry from Greensburg says a tornado touched down recently in his district. The chairman of the Veterans Affairs and Public Safety Committee says they've never had a discussion about tornado safety in schools, but says it's time they do so. Fry says requiring schools to include storm shelters in newly constructed schools will cost money, so they'll need to figure out how to pay for it. Be that uh, existing money could be channeled in uh, that direction. Uh, we do uh, provide uh, money annually for school safety, and this is certainly school safety, so it'll be something to look at. Um, but by the time the legislation would be drafted and uh, the hearings take place and pass, we'll be pretty close to another budget cycle anyway. Fry plans to reach out to the Indiana Department of Homeland Security for their input, as well as Salem schools. As we showed you last night in our investigation, Salem built a tornado safe room for Brady Shrum Elementary using a big chunk of federal grant dollars. Now, until Indiana changes its laws or building code to require storm shelters, schools can apply for FEMA funding to build mm -hmm. shelters on their own. So, Kara, these tornado shelters seem to add a lot of protection for schools and their students. So, why are not more schools taking yeah. advantage of this funding? Well, first of all, many just don't know about it. Also, the application is fairly intense. It takes a lot of time, up to a year to mm -hmm. do. Plus, schools also have to put up a 25% match, so they would also have mm -hmm. to come up with their own money. So, a couple deterrents there, but as you just saw, state lawmakers are hoping that more schools will show some interest in doing so. And Interesting. call six leading the way, finding solutions and getting answers. Kara, thank you so much.